This is the sofa button X1S Universal Remote Control. In this video, I'm gonna show you what comes in its box, and then I'm gonna show you how to set it up. We'll be adding devices to this remote control, and we'll be doing some tests and demos. And at the end, I'm gonna tell you what I like and what I don't like about it, and if I prefer it to the sofa button U2 Universal Remote Control. So let's start by showing you what comes in the box. Let's open the box. So this is everything you get in the box. You have a set of instructions, user manual, the remote control, USB charger, and two infrared blasters, and you have two USB-A to USB-C cables, and the hub. To set up the remote control system, power up the hub, and then make sure that the remote control is fully charged, and then on your smart device, whether it is iOS or Android, here I'm using my iPhone, go to the App Store, and then search for Sofa Button, and here you need to install the software Sofa Button. When the software is installed, open it, and then you need to tap Allow on everything. It will ask you to log in or to register. Here I already registered, so I'm gonna log in. And when you log in to the software, it will ask you, you wanna set up the U series or the X series. Here, of course, we're setting up the X series. So I'm gonna tap on X series, and then set up a new hub. So now it's telling you, is the hub powered? Yes, it is powered. And then it's asking you to put it into pairing mode. So turn the hub here, and you see this button? You need to press it until the light here blinks blue. So it's three seconds. So now it is blinking blue. And now you can select on your smartphone that the blue indicator is blinking, and then tap on next. And then OK. So here's the hub, select it, and then tap on save. And here you need to add devices to this hub, like devices like, for instance, your TV or your stereo system and this sort of stuff. So I'm going to start by adding my TV. I'm going to tap on the plus here. And I have a Roku TV that uses Wi-Fi. So I'm going to select Wi-Fi. And it's Roku. I'm going to select Roku. And here it will detect your Roku TVs that are on your Wi-Fi network. And here I'm going to choose my 75-inch Philips Roku TV. And then I'm going to keep the name as it is and the icon as they are. And then tap on Submit. And now it will download the code base for this Wi-Fi remote control. And it will flash it to the hub. And after it flashes it to the hub, it will synchronize it to the remote control. And you're going to see all that. So now as soon as I tap on Complete, the synchronization on the remote control starts, as you notice. So here it is syncing. And now you're going to see my Philips TV appearing on the remote control. And here it is, the Philips TV. And now the second device I'm going to add are my edifier speakers. And my edifier speakers that are the R1700 BTS, they are not pre-configured in the application. So if I tap on plus here, they are infrared first. I'm going to select infrared. And if I go on searching, I will not find them. So I need them to learn. And for them to learn, I need to bring the original remote control of my edifier speakers and then I'm gonna make the hub learn the commands from the remote control. So I'm gonna tap on learning and select audio. So the first command I'm gonna tell it to learn is the power command. So I'm gonna tap on to learn and then here because the receptor is on the top of the hub you need to put the remote control on the top of the hub like this and then press on the button that it, you want it to learn. So it learned the power button. Now I'm going to make it learn the volume up and volume down. So this is volume up. And this is volume down. And I'm going to press it on the remote control here. And now I'm going to make the green button on the remote control of the X1S learn the line 1 input on my stereo system. Because when I watch TV, I put line 1 so that I can hear the TV. So I'm going to go to the green button, tap to learn, and then choose line one. And it learned it. And here's everything I wanted the hub to learn from the edifier's remote control. So now I'm going to tap on next. And then I'm going to name it edifier R1700 BTS. And then this is the icon I want. It's an audio icon. And then I'm going to tap on complete. And you're going to see that 
it will download the code for the hub and the remote control will synchronize automatically and here it is in the remote control and here you notice next to each device the word not configured and this is important to configure before creating an activity an activity it means that it will merge two or more commands of two devices so that you can control them with one button so let's start with the 75 inch Philips TV and you see here it's telling you before creating an activity you need to complete the device's power settings so I'm gonna tap on power settings and for the TV do you want it turned off if you select an activity that doesn't include the TV I'm not gonna turn it off I'm gonna select always on unless the off key is pressed and for the power command I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna choose separate power on and power off and for the turn on I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna tap on add a command and I'm gonna add the power on command and then back and for the turn off I'm gonna do the same and choose power off so add a command and power off and then back and I'm gonna do the same for the edifier speakers and for the edifier speaker I need to specify the turn on off command so I'm gonna select it and then tap on add a command and then select power and then select back and here also for the edifiers because they have inputs I need to select the line one input for the watch TV activity that I'm gonna create later so let's tap on source configuration so I need to switch input go to configure and it's a direct input switching because the remote control of the edifier has a direct line one command and you remember we put the line one on the green button on the remote control of the X1S also. So I'm gonna choose direct and then next and it is the green one and confirm and complete. So now both devices are configured as you see. So now I'm gonna show you how to add an activity like for instance, I'm gonna call it watch TV and the watch TV activity will turn on both devices and it will switch the edifier speakers to the line one input. So I'm going to go to activities on the bottom and then I'm going to tap on plus and for the activity I want to include both devices so the Philips TV and the edifier speakers and then next and for the edifier it's asking me to select the source so I'm going to select the source and then I'm going to select the green one which is the line one and for the Philips Stoko TV it doesn't need to switch inputs because I wanted to start on the home screen so I'm gonna tap on next and next again and now it's asking me where I want to control the volume of the activity so I want to control it with the Philips TV so I'm gonna select it and then next and here all the other buttons also I want them to be controlled with the Philips TV so this is good here so I'm gonna keep Philips TV selected and then tap on next and for the name of the activity I'm gonna say watch TV and then I'm gonna tap on complete and now the activity will be synchronized to the hub and then to the remote control so here it is syncing so here I wanted to show you that if the remote control doesn't sync automatically here's what you can do to sync it so tap here on the back button until you arrive to the main menu of the remote control and then go to set and then tap this ball here and then select sync so this way you force the remote control to sync with the hub so now let's go and test all this so this is the setup these are my edifier speakers and this is here the hub of the x1s remote control and this is my tv so now i'm going to show you first how the activity will work so on your remote control this is a remote control you need to go to activities and this is the watch tv activity and notice when i select it with the ball here it will turn on the TV and it will turn on the edifier speakers on the bottom right and it will switch to the input one which is a green input so let's do it and notice how the edifier speakers turned on see the LED light it is on green and now everything also will work so here is the volume for instance up and down and this will work on the TV also and to turn off everything you have this off button here if you press it it will turn off everything now if you want to control device by device you go back to the main menu here and then you select devices and here are the devices that we configured so we have the tv 
and we have the edifier speakers. Let's go to the TV for instance. To turn on the TV, you need to press on the ball here because there's no power on button. And this is a shame in my opinion. So let's go here and the first one is power on. So if you select it, it will power on the TV. To power it off, you can power it off like this. If you're liking my video so far, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Also, if you want to check out this X1S remote control from SofaBaton, I'm going to leave affiliate links in the description below. If you make a purchase using my links, I will gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you and this will support my channel. So now let me tell you what I like and what I don't like in this X1S remote control from SofaBaton. I'm going to start with the likes. First, it is really very well made and it looks stylish. Also, it is backlit and it has a rechargeable battery, USB-C battery, and it has like all the functions you need. So it has Wi-Fi remote control and it has Bluetooth and it has infrared and you can put many devices in it and the activities also are a very convenient thing to do. Now, what I don't like about it is that setting it up is not the easiest thing to do and it is, in my opinion, a little bit complex to set up. And also having a hub that you need to connect and making sure that the hub can communicate with infrared with all the devices that still use infrared is not also the easiest thing to do. But once you set up everything, everything will work perfectly. Now also what I don't like about it too much is that the buttons are positioned very low on the bottom. So when you hold it like this, and you want to press these buttons even though if you don't use them all the time it is a little bit also like tiring for the hand now i told you also in the introduction that i'm gonna let you know if i like the x1s more than the u2 remote control from sofa baton also so it depends on the usage that you want to do with the remote control if you need to control wi-fi devices and also you need to control many devices and put complex activities the x1s remote control is the way to go now, if your budget is limited and you want like a simple remote control, universal remote control that can control many things and even it has macros, the U2 remote control is really a very good choice and it is simple to set up. It doesn't need a hub and setting it up is straightforward. Let me know in the comment section below what remote control you prefer and why. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.